So there's a rumor going around the internet that if you eat eggs and bananas together, you could die. Well, most things you hear on the internet are false, but one of my goals is to test things out. So we're going to test that out today. We're going to eat eggs and bananas together. Also, we're going to do it in the way I like to cook. So, bananas grow right near where I live. I also grow a different kind of banana that's a medicinal banana. Medicinal. Uh, this is a regular Cavendish banana. Very interesting thing. I'm really happy I live in a place where such a variety of fruits and vegetables grow. So in this case, the eggs that I have have been collected from my chickens, so I know where they come from. I like that. Here we go. Banana. Mmm. I love bananas. Egg. Ah. Am I dead? Am I going to die? Hmm. The thing I like is that we can test out these uh, beliefs people have, these pseudoscientific notions, these food superstitions, and pseudo-spirituality. In this space, we want to use scientific methods and think rationally so we don't have to live like victims of ignorance constantly. Now, most people don't want to eat it uh, raw like that, so we're going to make a really nice dish, a simple dish with just egg and banana. I like uh, bananas because they come in their own little packaging. In uh, Spanish, a banana is a platano. Good to know. Let's chop these up. Now we have two options with the bananas. We could put them in with the eggs uh, fresh and see how it turns out, but I think it, it might be better to cook them up. That's another good food experiment to do where we'll make one of these with uh, cooked bananas and the other one with uh, fresh bananas. The other thing is the age of the bananas. These bananas are still a little green. Now they're going to get sweeter as time goes by. So we could also experiment with young bananas and old bananas. So we're getting more variables going on real quick. Another interesting variable would be to use different kinds of bananas. Platanos, for example, are often fried. And we'll be using some oil with this. So maybe we could do an experiment with using platanos. Uh, no, platanos machos or algo. They're big bananas. Uh, in English, I think they call them platanos, but, but these are called platanos in Spanish. Never, never mind. Now, I could just throw banana and eggshells wherever and they'll rot, but in a shared space, it's a good idea to compost things. In this case, I want this compost to go to the chickens. They will turn any kind of a fruit or vegetable compost into really good fertilizer for the plants. However, I don't want to put the eggshells in there because then they'll learn how to peck at eggshells and they'll destroy their own eggs. If I wanted to, I could grind the eggshells up and give them to chickens and their food and that would give them calcium, which they need to make new eggshells. Also a good plan. I think for this experiment, we're going to use two bananas and four eggs. In general, I think it's a good idea if people eat uh, two eggs a day, if they're me anyway, and uh, if you do that you get all your protein and a bunch of minerals and it's really awesome. But we can also experiment with the ratio of banana to egg and see what's ideal. But my guess is going to be right in this case, I think. One banana for two eggs. So I'm going to cook the bananas up first, just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. That'll be kind of a, a good oil to use. I could try avocado oil or any vegetable oil. And I tried it without any oil. And even though this is a, a cast iron pan, which is great because it acts kind of like a non-stick pan, it still managed to uh, stick to the pan a little bit, which I didn't really like. So... And here we go. We'll just 
heat these up lightly until they get a little softer. Also, I think a little moisture might come out of them. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to mix the eggs up, make them nice and fluffy. I could add all kinds of other stuff into this, and you can do your own experiments. But in this case, our goal is to find out if we're going to die from eating uh, eggs and bananas together. So we're going to keep it nice and simple. That's looking pretty good. So, we'll go ahead and put the bananas in with the eggs. Now we'll mix them in there. We're going to cover this up so that the heat uh, cooks the whole egg thing. And I'm still going to attempt to flip it, which sometimes I'm very elegant at doing. I've done a lot of uh, cooking of egg dishes. Uh, and then I like to flip it and have this nice little convenient round thing I can put in a tortilla or on a piece of bread. But sometimes it's not perfect, so we'll see what happens. That was a mistake. Usually I like to put just two eggs in for one of the round things. I put in all four. Uh, normally I just mix two at a time and I set up kind of a production process so that I can be cranking these things out and people can come up in the morning and uh, they get their food in their tortilla or whatever. I put too many in, so that means it's going to be thicker than normal. If it works, then I can just cut it in half and put half in the tortilla and stuff. But yeah, I want to get this whole system of the, the, the morning breakfast system, just every single step, every movement and timing, every tool exactly where it's supposed to be, so that I can just crank these out. Uh, and part of this goal is to have people walk out of here with their, their, their food in a piece of bread or tortilla so that they don't have to use a dish. If this is set up properly as a production system, then we're going to use a lot less water for washing dishes. And also people are more portable, so they can just get their food and walk around and enjoy the beautiful morning. Yep. All right, still a little liquidy because it's so thick. But we're going to try this out here. Put this here. Flip it over. It didn't totally work out perfect. I'll flip part of it manually. This part right here. Just put right back in there. <laughs> and slide it right back in. I want to get this perfect, so I'm elegant at doing this. We'll cook the other side just a little tiny bit, but it's almost done. Uh, we have a tortilla here. Some people like their tortilla to be hot. Can we cool this off a little bit? No, no, quiero grabarlo. No quiero tenerlo cuando es caliente. Okay, ponlo en tu pan. Okay, dame mi pan. Okay. Ya es listo. Ya es listo. And we'll just flop this guy out here onto a piece of bread. And now we're ready actually to dump in the next egg mixture. But this is a lot anyway. And there we go. I have an egg banana sandwich. Let's find out if we die. So this uh, tortilla has the egg stuff and banana stuff in it, with a little bit of honey. I'm just going to eat mine straight. Mmm, mmm. It's really good. It has a surprisingly sweet flavor. It's almost like a dessert. And of course with the honey it'll be much more like a dessert. My conclusion, unless I die soon, is that eating banana and egg together does not kill you. It is also my conclusion that people are prone to believe things that are completely untrue, especially when it comes to something as important as food. 
Food is so important. And I think it's, it's vital that we figure out what the true things about food are, what the reality is about diet and how we should eat, even consider how we can cook and, and raise food, store food, and, and use less energy for a better world. All these things matter.